Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Slice of Shonen. I am your host, The Cloudy Crow, and today we'll be reacting to that time I got reincarnated as a slime, episode 8 and 9. 8 and 9, it's a bit off because the first episode was a single and then since then we've been doing doubles. Now, in the last episode, we met Shizue, who is, in my opinion, easily the best girl so far and she's gonna need some tough competition to take her out but we found out about her past how she actually grew up in japan and she was summoned from japan into this world we're in right now under this weird creepy dude that put ifrit who's like a fire demon or fire monster inside of her and he can like control her so he made her do a bunch of these horrible things that she didn't want to do and she was basically forced to live as this guy's puppet until she met us she meets us you know we try to make her feel comfortable we try not to pry too much into her past and just try to you know help her have a good time while she's staying with us in this village and then we meet the beast inside of her i guess you could say which is ifrit um in the beginning the guy who summoned shizue said that um ifrit could have her body and then i guess this was the point when ifrit finally took over her body and he was fully awoken he had his fire powers and he was destructive as heck and we took him out pretty easily i mean rimuru had an ability where he gets increased resistance to fire and all ifrit has is fire so as soon as he used that fire move on rimuru he just sat in there and slowly built up an immunity to it which i think is broken but anyways, once he got that, we absorbed him, brought him into this weird dimension inside of us with Veldora, and Veldora said that he would finish him off. So hopefully we actually get to see the fight. I hope it doesn't just skip over the fight and be like, yeah, Veldora took care of him. I hope we actually get to see them go all out. But anyways, with that being said, I'm excited to get into the episode. If you guys are as well, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the episode down below, and subscribe for more Slice of Shonen content. But with that being said, let's get right into this video. Episode 8, Inherited Will. Hmm. And here's Shizu. Oh, she's awake. Ah, oh, dang. It's alright, Shizu. Don't worry about that. It's all over now. This isn't what you wanted, so... That's respectable. That's respectable. I kind of want the same, in all honesty. But we're back in the village. She's just back to her normal self. We're good. Oh, dang. Gotta start from the ground up. <laughs> hey, Gabute. He looks like a beast, dude. That clothing he has on makes him look like a like the leader of the goblins. Wait, what? Oh, this is the- Wait, what? So that's Shizu. And this other girl is the hero. Was she the one that trapped Veldora? This girl right here? Ooh. Let me turn it down a bit because this is clanging kind of loud. But this is awesome! The hero, huh? I'm interested. Oh man, that's so sad, dude. Shizu doesn't deserve this, man. Oh, and that- Oh! And she gave her the mask to help suppress Ifrit. But it's cracked. Dude, she looks so cool with the hair covering her face. Hey, there you go, Rimuru. And she said we'll meet again. She left the mask with her. 
Wait. So if she gave her that mask that can suppress Ifrit and she has that mask on herself, is there a monster inside of her too? Dang, she fought a dragon? Holy crap. Wow. Shizu's awesome. Oh wow, so she was literally teetering on the edge Between Ifrit taking over She retired and became an instructor Wow What the heck? There's so much we don't know about her Oh, wow. So she learned the reference from that. What is that from? Is it just like a made up reference or is that actually a reference to. Is that a reference of a reference to a game in real life? Dang. So she trained someone who was skilled enough to become a grandmaster. That's an achievement in that of itself. Oh, and that's okay. So she felt like after that, she had like nothing else to really teach anyone, and so that's why she went on a journey. Yep, and here it is. <laughs> Those freaking weirdos. <laughs> Man. Hey, at least you had a good time. That's what it's all about. We may have had our ups and downs, but at the end of the day, you know, we're all just having a good time. Oh, wow, does he even remember? He does. Satoru. Wow, that's so cool. They really have a connection going on here, dude. They both did the pause between as well. And she's gonna call him by his real name. What? What? No, don't do it, Rimuru. But I mean, Ah, oh, man. Dude, no, this is messing with my head, man. Oh, I don't know if I... I don't know what I'd do. A part of me really doesn't want to, but if she wants it this badly, then... When you put it that way... I mean, it's hard to... Like, how can you say no to that? Come on, how can you say no to that, dude? Oh my gosh. Hmm. One of the most powerful demon lords. Dang. それにもしあの子たちがスクール元の世界約束しよう三神悟いやリムルテンペストの何を置いてうんうん魔王レオンクロムウェルにきっちりとあなたの思いをぶつけてやれええレスペクトリムルワイズワイズヘルライクスピーキング 
What? 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 Bro, all they did say... Oh my gosh. This is what she meant by her last journey. She knew that her time was running short. And they said this in the beginning. That summons are only allowed to live here for a limited amount of time. Holy crap. Ah oh, man. Hey, you're back home. So she did live in Japan, but way back. And then she must have been summoned during World War II, that's my guess. With the air raids. Oh man, this is so innocent, dude! Oh my gosh. That's actually awesome, dude. And we're back. Hey. We got the goon. What? 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 Oh my gosh, dude, that... There was just so much going through my head at one moment. And then, like... At first I was just so confused at what was going on. And then when I saw the tears in her eyes, dude, that's when I just lost it, dude. Holy crap. That's actually insane, dude. She's like a smaller Shizu. So when he absorbed her, did he gain her form? So now he can transform into a human form. Ah, uh, it's sad to see her go, but it's what she wanted. That's good. <laughs> they all looked straight to him. Oh my gosh, I swear, dude, these guys are the best guild mates. Man, they can always keep any trip interesting. That's the kind of guild mates you need. It's not about, you know, having a bunch of goons in a guild. That comes later. It's about being friends first, you know? Having people you can trust with each other's back. Even if you may banter every once in a while. Hey, thanks a lot, man. Hey. Let's go. These guys are awesome. One last favor. Wait, why? They want to see his human form? He does look just like- Well, I don't know- Oh man, I wonder if she can hear them. Yo! Oh, this is awesome. I'm sure she can. Oh, new gear? Hey, yo! What? 
we decked them out, bro! They all got that drip now! Let's go! He's got a new headband, too? Direwolfer? It's time! Hey, that's what they get, though, for being such awesome freaking people, dude. They helped out a lot in that last fight. Mm -mm. <laughs> Making my family heirloom. Look at them, dude. These guys are so happy. And they're so thankful for what they got, too. This is so cool. Hey, man. Yep, remember the name. Hey, pass the story down to your children's. Your children's? <laughs> your children. Hey, we built her a little tombstone. Where we can pay our respects. Hey, I like that gear Rimuru's got too. Dang. Hey, that, that was pretty badass. Slug the demon lord who made Shizue cry. Ooh, this is officially the end of the first chapter. Inherited the will of Veldora. And this is him. Or her. Him. Alright, we're in a desert. There, he looks like a pretty big dude. And he's... Looks like he's on the brink of death. So pig. <coughs> he finally gave out. Who's this? He has a mask on. Oh, is he a plague doctor? <laughs> Ooh, I don't like the sound of this. Give him a name and food. So is he gonna have to live as his pet or something? Geld. Ooh. Oh, is he gonna evolve? Oh, he's an orc. Yup, eat up, my guy. Get that strength back up. Alright, that was a good episode. Alright, well, that episode was awesome, man. Just that little heart-to-heart -heart that she's away and Rimuru had, that was really... That was really something to experience, man. Like, holy crap. And it was... It, I'm honestly kind of sad to see her go so soon. But she left in such an awesome way, and also, in a way, she's still kind of here. She's living through Rimuru. Like, her dreams, or her one goal in life, is to meet that demon lord and ask those questions. And she passed that goal down to Rimuru, so he's like carrying her will, essentially. And so, like, props to Rimuru. Props to Rimuru for, you know, being such a cool person. And to those three guys that were the last people to travel with Shizue because they were they were nice they helped out in the fight I mean if we didn't have or if she didn't have her um, icicle spear then we wouldn't have been able to take out those dragons so easily so she was a huge help but other than that um, that was pretty much all that happened and then we have the ending with that orc who passed out in the desert and then Gelmid this guy who looks like somewhat of a witch doctor came up to him and he said, you're going to be known as the Orc Disaster, and you're going to take over the forest. And so he names him, gives him food, and it looks like we might be meeting him again soon. So I'm excited, and let's just get right into this next episode.
All right, we're back at the village. We had to build back up from the ground up after that clown Ifrit started throwing flames everywhere. Hey, these houses look cool. Look at that, they're all complex. All right. What? Oh, he fixed it. That's cool. Yep. Oh, is he gonna do it? I think he is. Oh my gosh. I knew it. Mimic human. That's the skill he has. Hmm. So, it's weird. His, um, the human form he took. It looks like the face looks very feminine, but the body's obviously like a dude's body. So maybe it's like half and half. Like he inherited a lot of features from Shizue. Well, slimes don't have a gender though, so I don't know. Why not just give her a girl's body? Body double. Oh, she learned that from Ifrit. That's sick. Does it act on its own? Yeah, see, I'm confused too. He doesn't even know. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Oh no! Okay, so he has no gender at all. Yeah, see, I knew slimes were genderless, but I guess he has no reproductive organs either. Oh, that's cool! Yo! Okay, not bad, not bad. Oh my gosh. Yo! Wait, why go back? What the heck? That was the best form so far. Oh, true, true. Hold on. Yeah, you get, that's a really good point. <laughs> that's a really good point, Rimuru. Hey, eating with the boys. They're gonna prepare a feast. <laughs> he looks like a little kid, but I guess he is a younger version of Shizue. Is this her, like, right when she got summoned? Like, is that around the age he is? Hey, we got the food. Yep, we're all eating together. <laughs> Freaking Gobza, dude. <laughs> oh my gosh. What an idiot. <laughs> deer. <laughs> he crawls back. <laughs> oh, we're back to the cave. Anything new? Degenerate. The unique skill I received from Shizu. Uses unification and separation to merge skills together. Involving them? What? So she can combine skills, pretty much. Or split them apart, maybe? Black Flame! Is that the black lightning and the fire that um, he got from Ifrit? That's pretty cool. You'll be perceived as a human. But he has to wear the mask. That's kind of 
sketchy. Can you even see through it? How can you see through it? It looks like there's no openings. No nope, thought communication. Hey, what's the news? Gobta! Holy crap. I mean, a part of me wants to laugh, but this is, like, super serious. He just got slashed down the middle. <laughs> He's such a goofball, dude. Is that Anga? Ooh! Ooh! So who are these guys? Are they... I don't know what they are. <gasps> Who is she? Bro, she looks bad. I mean, hold on. Nah, she's way bad. But I mean, she's up there. She's up there. She doesn't look half bad either. Hey, we'll take care of it. Just heal up. Buddy. Are they dead? Oh, they've been put to sleep. Okay. Dude, she's so freaking cute. What the heck? Oh, these guys look mean. All right. So, what do you guys want? Are they one of the tribes? Ogres. Okay. Are they... So they are one of the three tribes fighting over the forest. Hey man, I got my eye on that short one. The old one? He's probably the freaking beastiest out of all of them. Enslaving monsters is not a feat just any human can accomplish. Oh, because they think he's a human. Oh, and they know he's suppressing his aura. Aura. Why did I say aura? What the heck? <laughs> These guys are so cool, man. I like how they're all rocking a different color, too. Ew. They know what that mask does, though. Oh! So there's history behind that mask. It was probably the girl that gave it to Shizue. Dude, she's so freaking cute! I can't! I can't! <clears throat> I can't. <sighs> Gotta get back in the... <laughs> I can't let it take over, man. Hey, it's about to begin! Ooh. Ooh! What? Hey, take a nap. Paralysis breath. One down, five to go. Ooh! She wasted no time. And he saw her with magic set. Oh. <laughs> what was that? Hold on. I need, I need some time to breathe after that. I already tied her up. What? What? That looks... What? Rimuru is a beast, bro. Oh my god. Ah, oh, of course, I saved the best for last. Ooh, he knows. He recognizes them. May have learned the skills of many other monsters. Dude, this guy. Don't sleep on him, man. The old guy's probably the coolest. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! We came here to fight! <laughs> Wait, what? 
So are there other people with these masks? Oh, dang! Don't sleep on him, bro! I told you, I would've kept my eye on him! Oh my god! <laughs> Look at Kapta's face, dude! Even she's shocked! Dang, and he slipped through his magic sense! Oh, he <laughs> looks so cool, dude. And he only has one eye open. Based off of what I said earlier, there must be other people with masks if these guys knew what the mask did. Or they seem like they've seen it before. Ogre Flame! Oh, we have resistance to it, I forgot. We're just gonna walk out of it. Nope. Hey, he looks so badass. Oh, this is me when I'm serious. Oh my god, dude, kill him with kindness. Jesus Christ! Riemuru, hold back, dude! Black Flame! Holy crap, and he made it from pure strength! She knows! Even more interesting? The black lightning comes into play. Oh my god. Yeah, you literally just threw like two of your biggest cards out. Yep, they're too prideful. And that's respectable. No matter how intimidating the opponent is, they're not gonna back down. Hey, let's go. <laughs> Dude, Rimuru's expressions have just been killing me. That's what we've been trying to tell you. Hey, listen to her. True. Yep, just calm down, dude. Alright, you can get rid of the flames now. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was like a sun. Contains anti magic power. Hmm. Oh, so maybe the girl that gave the mask to Shizue wasn't using it to suppress her magic. Oh, are they joining the village? Hey man, it was just a misunderstanding. As long as everybody's fine in the end, we're good. <laughs> Are we naming them? Are they gonna level up even more? Yo. Oh no! That's the last thing I wanted to see in this episode, man. Man, I really wanted to see Rimuru name them and see if they evolved at all, but... I mean, I don't blame them, because you don't want to throw all the hype in one episode. You want to spread it out throughout the series so that it stays enjoyable. So maybe in the next episode or the one after, 
basically the next video I upload. Maybe they'll show them actually getting named. But I can't wait for that, man. I'm so excited. This series, or this video was so good. Like, both of these episodes had me completely losing my mind at what was going on. And that's what I love about this series, dude. It, it fluctuates between being a funny, enjoyable anime to being a super hype, awesome anime. And it's just completely unpredictable. Like, they were going out hunting to get some deer so that they could have a feast. I thought they were just gonna fast forward to the feast. But no, first thing we see is Gopta getting cut open by that samurai, and then we have to fight six giant badass orcs. Like, oh man, that was such an awesome episode. But anyways, of course, as you guys can see, I really enjoyed this episode. If you guys enjoyed as well, make sure to leave a like. Comment your thoughts on the episode down below and subscribe for more Slice of Shonen. But with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.